Some of my viewers asked me if I was going to do a review of my Ortur Laser Master 3 uh, laser engraver. I hadn't really considered it, but they're asking for it, so that's what I'm going to do. That's what this video is all about. It's probably not going to be a, a terribly in-depth review, but it, it'll be a review of sorts, and I'll step you through what I've learned and what I know so far. So let's get to the laser. So check this out. So this is the laser in action. I'm making an, an order for Christmas ornaments that I got. Uh, a lady requested some for her grandkids, so, or with her grandkids' names on them. So that's what I'm working on now. The laser itself, you can use, uh, as far as I know, either laser gerbil, which I have tried early on. I didn't much care for it. Uh, this program that I'm using now is light burn and it's so much more powerful. There's all kinds of things that you can do with it. One such example is uh, you, you can basically create your own design. Uh, these patterns I pretty much bought. I've tweaked them some, but I bought a a two series of ornaments off of Etsy. Uh, I say ornaments, uh, they were uh, the SVG files and I've imported them into Lightburn and, and made some changes. So the laser will do pretty much anything that I've asked it to. I have a number of these boards made up uh, for the different materials that I'm using. Uh, I've milled up some of my own wood like this African mahogany. Uh, I've milled up some pine. I've milled up some walnut and some oak like this oak here. And I find that the, the laser does really, really well uh, with four mil and thinner stock, but it will do five mil as well, which is what this pine is. And it will, it'll actually five and a half millimeter. So it'll do five millimeter as well. You just, uh, it takes a little longer and sometimes the cuts aren't quite as clean, at least in pine they're not, but that's just me playing and experimenting. So I've been doing Christmas ornaments, I've been doing earrings, uh, again I bought SVG files for a set of a hundred and something earrings off of Etsy for a few bucks, didn't cost much, and then I've gone in and I've modified uh, some of them and, and made my own designs. That's the kind of stuff that you do inside Lightburn, which I, I could go into some of that, but that's not really reviewing the laser itself. The laser itself makes good cuts if you have if, if you have your settings right you get nice clean cuts like this and like what you'll see out of here when it's done. If you don't have your settings right you get cuts like that. You can also get stuff like this happening if your uh, if your lens is dirty. You get the flashback, or I'm not sure what that's called, but it'll flash over. 
uh, a lot of that would, I have found that if I if I use a sanding sealer on my material before I cut it and sand it to 220 then any of this flashover that you get will actually come off with denatured alcohol and what doesn't you can hit with 220 uh, real quick and, and knock it off. So that's not that big of a problem. Uh, this is two millimeter material that I've milled up. I cut some butterflies out for earrings. Uh, I've also milled up some of this. It's not really OSB. It's the same thing that this enclosure that I made is made out of. I just milled it up and ran it through my drum sander and sanded it nice and smooth. And they actually make some pretty cool patterned earrings in and of itself. So the kind of materials, uh, it will do some acrylics. It will not do plexiglass, I don't think. But it will do some acrylics. You can, uh, if you have powder coated steel or aluminum, you can laser through the powder coat, revealing the the shiny aluminum so it'll do that if you're doing uh, those powder coated uh, metal mugs I am uh, I'm going to make oh and epoxy is a no-no do not laser epoxy the fumes it creates are toxic I'm going to be milling up some really thin stock if I can't find what I want and make uh, my own wooden business cards. I can make, uh, and haven't started making them yet, but I will. I bought the stuff to do it. I'm going to start making wooden name tags. Those are always popular. Uh, I do slate posters. I buy these in bulk and I do slate coasters and I'll put pictures of these things up as well. I do coasters out of wood. I do both rounds and square. You, you can mill your own stock up, uh, which I do for the squares using quarter inch ply birch. Uh, I ordered these pine rounds to make coasters out of as well. One of the coolest things about the laser is I no longer have to worry about fastening a template or a pattern for my scroll saw work to paper and then cutting it out and dealing with that kind of stuff. I just do a light laser uh, burn of the outline of what I need to cut and then I can take it over to the scroll saw and scroll it out. So basically it's a collaboration of two tools. Yes, this is thin enough, I could laser it. But then it wouldn't be scroll sawing, would it? And even though I'm making earrings out of wood, I'm coloring them. I did these with the metallic blue Sharpie. Uh, you can color them with acrylic paints. You can do any number of things. When the ornaments are finished, they end up like this. Originally, this design was, most of that was cut out. I left this in and just lined it so I could put a name in it. So these are two and a half inches wide. And some of this detail, if I cut through it, these get really, really fine and, and easy to break. So I changed it so that I'm just doing a fill in that area. Uh, again, that was originally a cutout, but I left it so there's just a line so I could put a name in it. That's some of the modifications that I made on my own. Same with this one. Those were originally cut out, but those snowflakes are really, really fragile. So I started doing it this way, and I'm happier. But again, that's some of the things you can do inside the software. So I'll let this run for a little bit and you can see how the laser works.
talk about making full use of your material. I am right at the edge. This green hose right here is going to my air assist. Now, I cheated. Uh, the Ortur has air assist capability and you can buy an air assist module uh, for this that if the hose plugs in where I have it plugged in and there's a connector for the connection so that it automatically is turned on and off by the laser. But they're almost a hundred dollars and you know me, I'm cheap. So I found, I looked at the, the output that, it, that was necessary. So I looked at the one that comes that you can get for it and looked at the, the flow output and and CFM or cubic feet per minute or whatever it is and and it said it was using X amount so what I did is I looked for basically an aquarium pump that puts out the same CFM and they look almost identical the differences in the wiring instead of me having to plug this one in to an electric socket and just let it run the others come with some circuitry inside that's turned on and off by the laser. I didn't, I didn't think it was worth twice as much money. Uh, this pump with the same CFM looks almost identical to all the laser assist modules out there. The only difference is it doesn't have the wiring for plugging into the laser. You just have to turn it on and let it run. Again, it was half the cost. I think $40, $45 as opposed to 90 to 100. So that's just me. You can do what you want, but this works just as well. As you can see, the burn is done. So I'm trying to work around the camera here. It's not the easiest thing in the world. And it comes right up. It comes out easy. Sometimes you have to coax a few of the pieces out. Sometimes they fall out on their own as you can see back there on the bed. It just depends on the material or the cut. You can see nice clean cuts. All the stuff. So let me resituate the camera and I'll come back. Actually, before I move the camera, let me show you this. I put some denatured alcohol on this rag and I have these treated on both sides with denatured, uh, I mean with uh, sanding sealer. See how that just wipes right off? So all of the flashover basically wipes off easily with denatured alcohol. See, they cleaned up really nice. So now, what I will do is I will spray them with 
this gloss clear and I'll, I'll give them a couple of coats on the back and a couple of coats on the front anyway that takes care of that so what do I think of the laser I actually like it quite a bit because it does these kind of nice cool things uh, there's just so much you can do with it uh, I haven't you can burn portraits as well I, I haven't perfected that yet uh, I'm, I'm still trying that was one of my early examples and I didn't have the settings right so it didn't work real well I, I did do a couple of examples here on this this is just basically uh, masonite covered with a wood grain I think it's paper uh, but that didn't turn out too terribly bad I haven't wasted that on a I haven't wasted a coaster with that burn yet but I may uh, that's me and my son and his son so anyway there's any number of things that you can do you just have to play around with the software and learn to use it let me preface this with I haven't used a more powerful laser like the 20 watt diodes that are out or the 30 watt diodes I do have a 40 watt CO2 that I haven't hooked up yet because I just don't have the room to make everything like the, the water cooler and all of that that, that the CO2 requires. I, I do have good uh, smoke ventilation or filtration, actually not ventilation, it's filtration uh, that I built into my cabinet and I can hook that up over there as well. So I'm not too worried about smoke. Uh, if that turns out to be more smoky than this one then I'll put a hole in the wall and I'll just ventilate it outside in, in which case I'll do both I'm just trying to not my air is conditioned it's heated and, and air and cooled in the summer so I, I don't I, I don't want to lose uh, that uh, constant airflow outside if I can help it but as far as the laser itself goes uh, it, it took some learning of the software. The laser is easy to use. But once you learn the software, it's not that difficult either. It depends on how much you want to get into design and, and changing things and making your own uh, pieces like I've done. But I'm very happy with the laser. It would, uh, it would, I, would I like a, a more powerful 20 watt laser? Well, sure. Who would? But I, this does everything that I want it to do. I used, I bought it mainly, initially, mainly just to engrave the bottoms of my bowls and, and turn pieces. And it does that very nicely. And you've seen some of that in some of my turning videos. Uh, because I, uh, a good friend of mine, Jerry, made me some, he printed some legs, 3D printer. Printed some legs that, to screw to the bottom. And they work great. They raise it up and let me put bowls under it. Uh, so it, it does everything I want to do. And then some, because I've learned to do this other stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling. I, I don't mean to, but uh, that's my review. I don't have, I really don't have any negative things to say about the Ortur. I don't. Uh, it homes to the right, left front, and I don't have a problem with that. Uh, once I got the right size, I bought the wrong size honeycomb to put in it initially, but uh, there's a great number of things that you can do with it, and the number of resources that are out there are they're phenomenal. L.A. Hobby Guy is, I, I go to him for a lot of stuff. He, I've learned a lot from watching his videos. He tries to keep his little tutorials relatively short, and and it basically, and, and his website's very thorough as well. So. And whatever you want to know, L.A. Hobby Guy pretty much can tell you because he's, I don't know how many laser he has and he's reviewed probably all of them. So I'm by no means an expert, but that's what I think of my Ortur Laser Master 3. I love it. Um, and uh, I, I can't say enough. It does what I need it to do. So I'll have a turning video up really soon. I promise. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. We did. 
And, and if I don't catch you before Christmas, I'm sure I will. Uh, have a great Christmas and a great holiday season. Be safe. Peace. Thanks. Thank you.